Hello and welcome to Life on Linux. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom desktop entry for any program or um, other operations on your Linux desktop. Um, I'm using Linux Mint 17.3 and let's get started and close some of these things. So you can see there's, see, 17. that doesn't prove it, but hey. So basically behind this launcher uh, entry is a, a text file called .desktop. And let's uh, start by creating that. So uh, the first one we're going to do is by text. And the second one we'll do is the graphic entry, uh, the graphic interface entry. So we're going to start out by creating an empty document. And we'll change the name to Sweet Home. And we'll just leave it that so it's distinct from the other one. And we're going to call it dot, uh, dot desktop. And I think that might be uh, it might be redundant. We'll have to see. So now let's open that with, with our text editor. I think that's the default application, so nope. Uh, sorry, so double clicking doesn't. Uh, so we're gonna open with the text editor. Double clicking tries to launch it and we've got no details in there yet. So let's move this to another window so we can work on it more e easily and let's slide this guy up here so we can see it. And so basically we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just copy some of this stuff over one at a time so you can kind of see how it works. So. First, you need the desktop entry header or, um, or whatever you want to call it. And then the, the first thing we're going to copy over, so we'll make this in a different order. We're going to copy the name and the name is what appears underneath. So without the name, it just shows the file name. But when you add the name, it'll it'll show that underneath. So let's save that and, and let's see if it updates. So now you see it's updated to Sweet Home 3D. So now let's add the executable. So the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to copy the uh, the command or directive or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to browse to this instead of trying to type it in. So I'm going to browse to the folder Sweet Home 3D, which is sitting on my desktop. And this is the file that uh, launches this program. So I'm going to just uh, do a right click and a copy to get that file. And when you paste that into a, a text file, it uh, pastes the path in, which is exactly what we want. What we want, and we'll just move this guy down for now. Now, so now when we save this, um, that information is now in here, but it's still not going to launch because it needs to know what it is to launch it. And that's the final thing you absolutely need is the file type application. So when I hit paste there, now this is launchable. So let's hit save, and you'll see it changes to uh, this sort of rainbow thing. And the reason why it's rainbows is because right now we don't have permission to execute. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click properties and I'm going to go to permissions and click allow executing file as a program. And that gives it permissions. And as soon as you do that, you see now it's the gear icon indicating that it's something that can run. Um, so this will actually run the program. Let's double click it. And then you see the program has launched. We're going to add a few more things to make it a little bit uh, more user friendly and then we'll go on to do the graphic user interface version so you see that we launched there so now let's add um, our our terminal equals false and that helps the computer to know that um, that it doesn't need a terminal behind it or tells it tells the launcher that it doesn't need a terminal behind it some applications need to keep the terminal running and in that case you want this to be true um, the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add or I'm sorry, the final two things, we'll add a comment and then we'll add an icon. So for the icon, I'm going to just copy the directive or command or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to browse to the folder. So here's the folder from before and here's our icon. Now in this case, instead of right clicking, I'm going to click control C. So again, you think, oh, does that copy the file? But for this context, when you hit control V, it's just going to paste in the file folder na name. And actually what that's going to do is uh, it's going to do that pretty much wherever. You're not actually copying the file. You're kept copying the reference to it. So that's all we need to make it complete on, on this desktop. And you'll see that it's uh, updated and looks nice and we're good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, create this launcher using the, the graphic user interface. And oh, by the way, let me show you. Or, or let's just create it. So let's uh, we're going to create a new launcher here. And you see we've got our um, window for configuring this. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll call it Sweet Home 3D again. So you can they can all have the same name. 
um, but the file name behind it's gonna be different. In this case, I think it's gonna overwrite that one, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go to my, I'm sorry. So now we're gonna add the command, and like before, I'm just gonna select that from the file folder. So I'm gonna go to desktop, and it was Sweet Home 3D, and this was the my executable, and we're gonna click OK. Sorry, that's sort of down in the way. And let's uh, make a comment. Let's call it, you know, uh, 3D Modeler uh, for floor plans. Okay, now instead of just clicking OK here, you'll notice that there's a little rocket icon over here. And this is how you can select the icon for your launcher. Actually, let me delete both of these so we know that we're actually creating it. And it's a little less confusing. So let me click the rocket launcher here and let's go into desktop again and sweet home 3d and you'll see that we only have available that one icon i'm going to click click ok and you will see the icons now now in there now the next thing that's going to happen is when i click ok it's going to ask ask us a question and i would say yes to this so it says would you like to add this launcher to the menu also and we're going to it will place in other category initially we're going to say yes to that it seems like nothing's happened but but you'll see what's happened um in a minute so it created this entry for us let's look at that with a text editor text editor and you see it is almost completely identical to what we what we created in the uh, directly through text so now let's look up here and like actually let me launch it real quick so you can see let's get rid of account details you don't need those and you see that it's launched my application nicely. So now when I go to my menu, let's close the application again. When I go to my menu, you'll see, if I go to other, you'll see Sweet Home 3D has been added there. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll show you how to edit that menu. So <clears throat> to edit it, it seems like it's a little tricky at first. So if you try to hunt around, you might go into administration and let's, or preferences and but you might not know where to go so let's see i think you can or perhaps you might go and just click preferences here system settings and you get the generic system settings and it's not clear where the menu is but if you go into applets you can find a menu applet and that's that's what's running up here is this menu applet and you can configure it and within that applet you'll see open the menu editor now the easier way to get to it is if you right click right click the applet and select configure now at first when you open this you might not think this is for your menu but then you find this button and this is our menu editor now it's a very basic menu editor so in order to move the sweet home 3d menu item into graphics what we're going to do is we're going to use the the copy and paste so i don't like to use cut because um you know i get nervous that i'll delete it by accident so I'm gonna copy the Sweet Home 3D by just clicking Sweet Home 3D. I'm gonna go over to Graphics and click Paste. Now this is really the only way to uh, copy an existing um, application over. Let's see, I've got, uh, I've got one from before. <laughs> so that's the one from before. Um, so I can delete that one. And then if you want to, you can go over to Other and you can either delete it or just disable it. Um, if you just disable it, then then you don't have to. If you wanted to move it back, it's sitting there waiting for you. And click close. Um, the reason, the one thing I don't like about this menu editor is that if you just delete it uh, to to add it again when you do new item, it walks you through the launcher properties. Just with this main menu, there's no way to drag and drop into there now you might be able to uh, copy these into a folder um, i'm sure this is represented by a folder file somewhere um or you might and and there's it uh, there's other menu editors but this is the one that's built in so anyway that's how you create a uh, custom desktop launcher uh, using text and using the 3d uh, graphics interface or the graphics interface i'm sorry there's nothing 3d about it so if you like my channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, I don't do a lot of these videos, but I'm hoping to do more if I get more subscribers and views. Um, and make sure you click on the alarm bell to get notifications. And especially share and like them so that I get more subscribers because then I'll make more. And oh, 
uh, finally have a great